I'm a Gulumbringan Dungalaba Tiwi woman and I am talking to you from my grandmother's country which is Gulumbringan, also known as Larrakia country. Gamilaroi is my country up Walgut Way. I uh, currently live in Wagga Wagga which is uh, Baradri land and we are currently on the land of the Gadigal people, the Eora Nation. I'm a proud Yudinji Gomorrah woman and I live on country, on Gomorrah country and live in Merriwan, New South Wales. Hey, yeah. yeah, I definitely say that I'm Australian. I sometimes jokingly say to uh, like a lot of white people, I'm more Australian than you. But yeah, I, I definitely do more say that I'm an Aboriginal person. <laughs> Oh, I've never wanted to identify as Australian because we have never been included in Australian society. The laws of Australia have never been just and right for my people. It's sort of like mid puffer, isn't it? I find myself walking in two lands every single day. I always have to be cautious about the way that I present our stories. And I guess that's just through fear of confrontation. I had grown up down south in Newcastle and had been to many Invasion Day protests. So coming up back home to Darwin was confronting because most people celebrate January 26. We know that it's the day that on the East Coast invasion started. We don't see that as part of our story. That's a story for Down South Mob. So there's a very different consensus around January 26 up here. That's not to say that people aren't also doing their own thing for Day of Mourning or Survival Day. I personally feel too tired to organise a protest and I have decided to work this year on January 26. Heartache, that's what it means. Our true history has not been told. It means that in 2023, many mobs still fight for our identity and that we can't grow while ever our atrocities are celebrated. My views are to, to change change the date. Terra what, what do you mean? Uh, it's, it means I own that now. That's, you know how you fellas did that? I did a sketch about pizzas. I started eating both pizzas. It was just sort of just really trying to get across in a silly way about taking over what other people have. Yeah, that bruh. The Wagga City Council thought it'd be a good idea to get me on board to be the Australia Day ambassador. And I love that. I thought that that was a really good idea. I did give them a hard time though. I was like, absolutely, that sounds great. Thank you so much. Um, what date though? Because I'm, I'm pretty busy.